Hi guys, Rachie Bop here. Today's app that I'm reviewing is something for you guys who love to organise, like me. It's the Sortly app and this is a completely free app which we like. When you open it up, first of all, it's going to show you all these different folders and as you can see from this, it's going to help you organise no matter what it is you want to organise. So it doesn't have to be that you are a businessy kind of person, it can just be moving home or things you want to organise in your room, anything really that you think you would benefit from having things down on here. I mean imagine the paper, the ink, the time you'll save using something like this. On the website this app is described as the ultimate organiser app and I, I love that, I just, I love organising, this is so perfect for me. So basically you can snap a photo of something, categorise it and search. This is available on the App Store for both iPhone and iPad and it is a productivity app that's going to help you organise your stuff and create a visual inventory which so it's kind of like your own little Pinterest boards and you can then easily search, manage and categorise them. So the best thing about this is that you can create hierarchies of things that you own and have them all in folders and things. So, for example, the first thing that pops to mind that I can use this for is to actually organise my collection of sumsums and have them all listed in here. I'm going to add a folder. I'm going to call it sumsum. No. Auto correct. There's not of some sums. Collection. And then I know when I'm out and about which ones I have and which ones I don't have. So now we've got it there. Now you can see that work is categorised with the blue, move is purple, and yellow is home. So we can change that or we can add our own photo here, which I will do. I will add a photo of my sum sum. I can then add tags. So I can add a tag of sum sum. I can then also add like toy and collection, things like that. I can edit those at any time and I can also add notes. So I'm going to just call it reference. So that I can see which ones I have and which ones I don't have. Because when I'm out sometimes I forget that I don't have some. The other day I bought the Sum Sum of Thumper's girlfriend and when I brought her back I was like you're going next to Thumper and I didn't have Thumper. So that was a little bit of an embarrassing moment for me. So what I can also do then here is add product information. So if you have details like this, you can add them. I can even put the purchase date when I bought the Sum Sums. I can put the return date, warranty expiry date. This will also be very flexible to what you are entering into the app. If you're moving, you might want to categorise boxes. If you're making an event, it might be a good idea to label the boxes with this. You can then have QR labels which you can see here, bring beauty and zen to moving and organising, create elegant labels with QR codes using off the shelf self adhesive labels, link the QR codes to the folders or items in the app so you can learn more, click and then you can click get started. Unfortunately at the moment the Sortly QR labels do not support A4 sheet size yet, it only currently supports US letter sizes but they are working on it and it should be added within the next couple of weeks which is fabulous. And you can also add lending info. So say if I was just categorising my DVD collection, they might come into here and I might want to just add that I've lent my DVD out to someone when I, when I lent it out and then ask it to remind me on a certain day to ask for it back if it's been much too long. So if I click add photos and video, give it access, I can then go in here, I can actually take a photo now if I want to, or I can go into my camera roll, so that button down there and select a photo. So here's, that's a photo of my 
Pinocchio Sum Sum. I also want, I've got two others that I've taken photos of, so I'm just adding those in as well. Okay, obviously not my complete collection, but some of them. So you can add them in very easily, one by one, and then you can have them as your little banner up here if you want to, but all those photos are in there. You can add in your whole collection and save it and then it pops up here, some, some collection. So it can be as silly or as absolutely crucial as you want it to be. An idea would be to add in all the photos at the top and then add the product information down here so you can see everything. It might even be a wish list that you want to do for ones that you don't have or things that you don't have and then you can search on Google here and it will take you to Google. Sum Sum. You can then go into images and then say I see one that oh, at the end I want this collection here. Grab the link for that, pop it in and there it is. That's something that I've put in on the list. It's all there under the Sum Sum folder. You can also edit these folders, so you click up here, you can put anything you want in the bin. So I could put the this extra home one in the bin, delete that one, whatever I want to do. So you've got complete flexibility with this part of the app. It's really easy to use and I love that. And the QR code will be really good for anything that you're going to put in a box or any files, things like that. It also syncs with Evernote, so if you are already using Evernote you can sync with that and you can auto save everything you do to Evernote. Personally I'm not using Evernote so that's not of use to me at the moment but it is pretty cool that it does that. It's not trying to compete, it's just trying to lend an extra hand which is good. And you can also automatically sync everything and it will do that automatically, like here, but you can also sync at any time and this goes between devices, so if you have this app on your iPad as well as your iPhone, it will sync between them. You can also come into more and then export and you can export these lists to CSV as text to Dropbox or even as a PDF, so I can export my Samsung collection folder as a PDF. You can send the email, I can send it to Dropbox, I can include subfolder items as you can see and that will send it through to my email which then means you can share it with people or just have it backed up on another device. It will email you like this with a link to the PDF. You can click that and it will open the PDF and you can do this on your computer and it will have all your pictures in there and everything you've put into that folder as you can see. So it's definitely very handy if you're moving house as you can see it has a move folder that's one of the things that they try and push with the app. You can have a checklist, QR labels, tags, notes, photos, you can even have 15 second videos in here and you can also search for things that you've listed, scan them or search through your tags on titles. You can also inventory everything in your home. Maybe you're someone who rents out property and you want to make an inventory before the new tenants move in. This would be a good way to do that. Maybe you just want to keep track of what you lend to your friends. Keeping inventories are always a good idea. You can also keep track of collectibles like I'm doing here and it's really good for small businesses because you can do it on the go and it's just so easy that it's really down to what you want to use it for and I'd be really interested to know what kind of uses you would think to use this for so please let me know those in the description. If you come into the dashboard you can see here the items, the value that you've put for those items that you might want to toss up a value for a certain folder, you can do that here. Folders, tags, lent items, moving, this is a moving checklist that it suggests for you, it's all in there. That's pretty neat. 
You can also learn more about the QR labels as well, we've already seen that. Into account, you can see the email that you've signed up with. This is a premium account. You can ha use Sortly for completely free, so don't worry about that. But if you do want to upgrade to premium, you can do that here. You will have an upgrade button here and the price is £5.99 or $7.99 depending where you are. It will let you know everything extra that you get with premium if you do want to upgrade when you click that in your free account. There's no obligation to get the premium. You can just use the free account. You're just limited to certain things but not too much I would say. It's pretty usable without it. It's just if you get really deep and you really start using it like every day I think you would definitely benefit from paying that one-off fee just to get the premium edition. You can also see settings and diagnostics here so you can make it so it syncs only on Wi-Fi so you don't use up any of your data. You can change your password here. You can disable the syncing if you don't want it to sync to another device or maybe you don't have another device or you just want it to completely stay on here and you can also see your cloud activity here as well so you can see exactly what it's doing and when which is really nice and transparent of them. We like transparency, we like free, we like organisational apps. Another thing I really like about Sortly is that they're constantly updating it so even if you are using it as free you're going to get so much out of it because they're just constantly listening to feedback and updating it and tweaking any bugs that they come across, any issues, they're just working on it and it's just so good. I, I imagine people with small businesses especially and people moving homes, that kind of thing would really benefit from using this. So I am going to give this app five big fat moves because I just cannot fault it. I'm looking forward to getting to use this even more and to be inspired into using it in lots of different ways from what you guys say in the comments and I'm also looking forward to seeing how the app evolves it's going to be great especially when they add in the UK support for the QR labels that's going to be mega thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video bye